Okay, hi, my lovelies, um, my babies, my non-babies, my um, supporters and loved ones. So today I have something special for you and hopefully this message hits you somewhere where you are really um, hurting and it is able to uh, put you in a place of encouragement. So today it is about uh, 12 o'clock in the morning and it is July the 19th, 2020. And as you guys know, 2020 has been an incredibly um, spontaneous, unpredictable year. And not only for the world, but for many people personally, privately in their private homes. And specifically for the people who are like me, moi, who are single, who uh, live um, mostly by themselves. I mean, I do have a roommate, but I am single. So I live, spend a large part of my day by myself. So these are for the people who spend a lot of time alone, or maybe you're not alone, but you feel like you're alone. Okay. Which is most of us. <laughs> so, um, this uh, message is for you and I'm coming with this message today specifically because uh, for the past two or three weeks, um, I want to say even longer. So the past couple of months, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I have been in a huge play, uh, uh, energy space of despair, discomfort. Um, the enemy has really been working on manipulating my mind and really discouraging me about uh, my current situation and my future. So I wanted to give you guys some words that I wrote down earlier and then just elaborate on them. So one of the things that is important um, that you have to know is that when you're going through um, despair, when you're going and experiencing experiencing extreme pain and discomfort discomfort okay i don't know why my speech is getting all weird when you're experiencing pain and discomfort one of the things that uh happens is that you can feel like what you're going through is not normal or that the way that you're handling it is not normal because when we, when we step out into the world, we really don't see a lot of people in agony, right? Everybody's just walking along, running along and going about their everyday lives. And especially in America, in the world that we live in, it is custom to not outwardly um, express or show your pain. So naturally what's going to happen is when you are in, on your lonesome, um, you're going to judge your own pain and, and try to figure out, um, why there's something wrong with you. Okay. So if you're following me, if you're on the same page and you, and you, um, really are going through a lot right now and on top of that you're judging that process because you're really you're not seeing anybody else who's going through it whatever it is that you're going through then you want to stay tuned for what I have to say to you right now so I'm going to give you a scripture um from the bible uh don't tune out I really have some amazing things to say and this is not about religion. A lot of people get caught up in that. And here's what I say about the Bible. I may not necessarily um, subscribe to everything that's in the Bible, but the things that I do subscribe to, um, the reason I subscribe to it is because it has an impact on me, right? If it brings me peace and it brings me comfort, then I don't need to judge it any further, okay? I don't need to look into it and it works for me. Right. And so that's what I go off of. So I'm going to give you this scripture. So the scripture is Job 15, three, uh, verse three through six. And it starts off like this. Should the wise argue in unprofitable talk or in words with which they can do no good? 
but you are doing away with the fear of God and hindering meditation before God. For your inequity teaches your mouth and you choose the tongue of the crafty. Your own mouth condemns you and not I. Your own lips testify against you. Now that scripture was uh, Job's friend actually speaking to him and he's telling him that Job's own mouth and his own words are coming against him in his situation. So what is about to be said is extremely important. Right now, what I'm talking about is something that I do so often. And that's the reason why I'm making this video, because it needs to stop and end today. And that is when I'm in pain, and when I have been in pain, one of the things that I do a lot is, is destroy myself through my words. I, here's what I want you to know. One sentence of hope is powerful enough to destroy thousands of words targeted for your despair. I'll say that again. One sentence of hope is powerful enough to destroy thousands of words targeted for your despair. That's a lot. When we're in pain, all we can think about is all the things that we are not and all the ways of why the world is cruel and why the world has been cruel to us. And if we keep on with that process, what happens is we begin to internalize all that hate and all that anger and all that uh, fear and all that shame and abandonment, it, we internalize it and we turn it against ourselves. So then we begin to speak those things into our lives. We begin to talk about our future as if it does not exist. We begin to say all the things that we cannot do and that we can never achieve. We begin, we begin to talk about the fact that our lives, it does not matter. Um, and we begin to speak against our own life. And oftentimes we uh, do not want to live further and we say things that reflect that. Um, even if we don't fully want to go through with the actions, we may say things that reflect it because we're in so much pain and we really don't know what to do with it. So all that we have is our words and we just spew out and spit out everything, right? So what I'm telling you right now is that is a normal thing. So many people do it, right? But just because it's normal does not mean that we have to continue to live that way. And one of the things that I want you to know is that you have the power to continue to speak positivity over your own life no matter what is happening to you. And it is okay if the past, your, in your past life and in your past and even in your current, that all you've ever done is say things that do not work in your favor or speak negatively over your body, or talk about how unattractive you are, or talk about all the things that you will never be able to achieve. Let me tell you something. All you have to do is simply say, I am powerful. I am dot, 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 dot. I am beautiful. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. I am strong. I am confident. I can do it, right? And do you know something? When you say those two words or you start off a sentence with those two words, I am or, or I can, that could knock out what you've said in the past months, weeks, years. And I know it doesn't feel like it, right? Because sometimes when you're saying those things, it actually feels like a lie. 
but continue to say them. Even if it feels like a lie, continue to say them, even if you don't see it around you. Because one thing that you're going to see unfold in your life is that inch by inch and step by step, your life will begin to change because the words out of your mouth are changing. You have to know that the tongue is a powerful tool and the words that come out of your mouth have the ability to change your life. Your words have weight. Just because you can't see them does not mean they have no power. We cannot see matter, but we know that it exists. We cannot see oxygen, but we know that in order to live, we have to have it on the earth. So remember to stop slandering your name during this transition of pain. This is a transition and you will not be here permanently. Your pain is temporary. Remind yourself of that and say those words out loud. My pain is temporary. And you will find that your life is going to be changed and flipped upside down. If you continue this practice and this ritual every single day, I promise you, you will see the fruits of that. And if you don't, you can come and personally leave a comment below because I can't do anything else other than that, right? (laughs) But I promise you that you will, right? If you continue, don't just say, I said one sentence and nothing happened. No, you have to continue this, you know, because as much as you can continue to speak against yourself and continue and, and you see what your life looks like as you continue to say what you are not and what you cannot do, um, you have to speak, do the opposite and continue that cycle of speaking positively over your life. And I promise you, you will see a change. So my people, remember that um, even though um, you you don't see it, Do not speak the words. Whatever you do, do not speak against your own prosperous life. You will live and not die. And you can say that too. I promise you to all the people out there who do not feel like they matter, you will live and not die. Speak those words over your life. And begin to witness the change. Bye bye my loves.